Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve, AKA the Sign Picker, and it's time for another sign wall update. Today, I'm going to be pulling out signs that have to do with traffic signals. So today I'm going to be going through my collection to see what I can pull out signs that are all related to traffic signals. That's lane control, no turn on red, delayed signal. Those are just some of the ones that I know that I have offhand, but I'm sure I'm going to find some other ones along the way that I kind of forgot about. So let's dig in. Here's a good example right here. This is really a railroad signal, stop on red signal, uh, but it qualifies. It's got the word signal in it. Uh, the problem with this one is for the wall, I'm not going to be able to get it up on the wall because it has these really big, heavy cast iron brackets still on it. So they're bolted in pretty tight, they're pretty rusted. I'm not going to be able to get that off. But this is a really great sign. It's got the old reflective surface that's just been out baking in the sun uh, for a really long time. It's weathered, it's cracked, it's yellowing. It's also manufactured by Hall Signs Incorporated. That's down in Bloomington, Indiana, uh, my home state. Uh, HSI down in the corner. That's how you can tell it's a hall sign. But again, I'm going to pass on this guy. Still a cool sign. I just can't get him on the wall. All right, I'm looking at 18 by 24, uh, mostly regulatory signs right in here. And the first one right off the bat is a no turn on red. Uh, this is a new old stock. You can see that the uh, reflective surface hasn't even been punched through. Uh, the holes are there, but the whole uh, surface here has not been uh, penetrated. So this is a great reflective sign. This is going to be good on the wall. All right, that's going to be it for the 18 by 24s. All right, here's a good one. Walk with green light. So more geared toward the pedestrians going through the intersection, but That'll be great. It's embossed. It's got some great rust on it. The back is cool. Got a lot of texture there. Scratches. Uh, I love the green on white. Very cool co color combination. I'm going to throw that up there. Okay, here's another pedestrian sign. Push button for walk signal. Another great surface, really cracked, weathered, uh, much like the um, railroad sign I showed earlier. Black background. So to me, that means that um, this was posted on like a, a lamp post or something like that. When they went and repainted the, the lamp post, uh, they just went ahead and repainted uh, the back of the sign uh, black as well. But really cool sign. This was a nice Facebook marketplace find for me. You can see all the texture in there. Looks really neat. A lot of no parking signs in there. Uh, one day I will do a no parking wall, but not today. Dig into some of these larger signs here. I know I'm gonna have a few in this pile. Okay, here we go. Stop here on red, and then right behind it, it's old yellowed no turn on red sign. Those definitely qualify. Here's delayed signal. So again, these are these are really big. This one looks to be a, a new old stock as well. It doesn't look like it was uh, the holes are poked, but it's definitely got some weathering on it. Uh, it's probably just from being banged up in the sign shop. Here we go. Left on arrow only. This would have been a uh, overhead uh, sign that's positioned next to a left turn arrow signal, letting drivers know that you can only make a left on an arrow. So it looks like this is the winning pile right here. Left turn yield on green. I'll go up on the wall. Okay, here's a stop here on red, another one. Different reflectivity surface on there, that's what today's standard is. Look how it compares to this one here. So kind of st two styles of stop here on red. Uh, difference in arrows, difference in the way the words are configured. Of course, there's a difference in reflectivity uh, surface, but we'll, we'll put both of those up on the wall.
Here's another no turn on red sign uh, with the red ball down at the bottom. This is a really neat sign from the city of Chicago. Turning vehicles yield to pedestrians. You could tell it's from the city of Chicago because it's got the marking down at the bottom. It's not really a, a signal uh, sign, but definitely would have been placed at an intersection, uh, most likely with a traffic signal. All right, this section's gonna get a little tight. There's just a lot of signs in here. This is one that always uh, gives me a little bit of an injury. I'm always pinching my fingers in here. So I'm probably gonna pull some of them out just so I have a little more wiggle room uh, for the signs to lean on. Here's a square no turn on red sign. Uh, obviously no, no red ball on there. This will be a nice addition. Again, when I do these walls, I tried to find a nice variety of sizes and shapes and colors just to give a, a good uh, variety on the wall. So I'm really happy that I have a no turn on red in 18 by 24, 24 by 36, and a 24 by 24 square. That'll really stand out on the wall. All right, here's something that's, uh, I'm going through my stack of 24 by 24 signs and this 18 by 24 was in there. So again, never know what you're gonna find, but old uh, push button sign uh, from the city of Chicago. I think this one's really interesting because compared to other push button signs, uh, this one's really large. Normally push button signs are like 12 inches tall. This one's 18 by 24, um, hand painted, very cool sign black background hello my name is sticker with original graffiti on it uh, I love that all right here's your standard uh, signal ahead warning sign 30 by 30 uh, yellow warning sign in the W series in the manual on uniform traffic control devices Another one in the collection, manufactured by Hall Signs, Inc. You see a lot of these here in Indiana. And before that sign uh, was designed, you had the old school word-based signal ad sign. This one is uh, really coming apart here. This reflective surface does not, does not hold up uh, to the elements. So it's really cracking and peeling, but I love it. I chose this one at the scrapyard uh, because it was so beat up. Uh, I, love, I love the old weathered look. The more weathered, the better. Okay, here's, here's one just sitting out, uh, misplaced, not put away. Push button for walk signal. There's another one. Okay, got a big stack of signs right here. Time to put them up on the wall. Okay, there you go. There's the signal wall, signs that all have to do with traffic lights and traffic signals. And I have about four uh, 24 by 36 signs that I couldn't fit up on the wall, so we'll save those for another time. If you want to be notified every single time that I post a new video here on Sign Picker, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also follow me over on Instagram, Sign Picker, over on Facebook, Sign Picker, and I'll see you next time.